Hey everybody, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption online. Yes, that's right, we are online. You can see my character here, we're going to look a little bit different from where we left off now. I wasn't really intending upon doing uh, kind of like loads of episodes of the online, especially not while I'm still playing the main game. But I have played a fair amount off camera, um, to the point where I thought I would do my kind of thoughts on it. Um, because I have a lot of thoughts on it. Not all of them are good. A lot of them are good, and that's cool, I guess. Uh, now, the first thing to kind of remember to remember about this is that this game is in beta, so everything I kind of say could well be irrelevant by the time uh, you know six months down the line, a year down the line. This this could all be fixed, and I think that's a kind of important thing. Sometimes, especially with these online games, people feel like that how they release is how they're going to be and history kind of suggests that is not the case at all um, when you look at something like uh, um, The Division for example that changed quite a lot changed into a very good game by the end GTA Online changed quite a lot by the time it uh, oh, is that my camp? oh that's interesting. Anyway, I don't really want to go there just yet. Um, but GTA Online changed a lot over the course of its lifespan from what it was to what it became. And I fully expect something like, say, Fallout 76 to change over the course of its lifetime as well. Um, that's just the way these kind of games go, I think, nowadays. So it's kind of interesting to kind of look at the evolution. But how this game is right now is... It's kind of a, I don't want to say mess, because that implies that there's something bad about it, and I have spent quite a few hours in it and generally enjoyed all those hours. But there's something not quite right, and a lot of stuff missing from the online experience um, of the game. Now, I guess where Red Dead Redemption Online differs to many other online games is that it has a single-player counterpart. You know, we've seen that, we've all played that, probably. Um... And uh, I can't resist shooting these varmints, sorry. It's how you make money, guys, I'm sorry. We'll go into the money bit, don't you worry about that. But um, yeah, it's how... Uh, I'll save you the... Oh, he just puts it in his pocket, okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, so, so jumping into the online, and maybe for a lot of you guys, you completed the game and then had a few weeks before you even played the online so maybe you didn't quite see the contrast but I certainly did see the contrast uh, certainly certainly did see the contrast the world of online feels pretty dead I'm sorry but I'm just going to do a bit of hunting while I'm kind of chatting just to kind of pass the time so bear with me on that one it feels kind of dead compared to um, the single player game now don't get me wrong something to be uh, expected there um, you know we noticed in GTA I think 5 compared to the online there was um, substantial well, not I say substantial downgrade but there was certainly like wildlife missing and certain things missing it wasn't quite the density of population but it, it didn't feel like they stripped out loads of the stuff kind of feels like that in Red Dead Online I've been to a lot of places um, that I've been to in game and there's just no one around when in game single player game sorry there's lots of people around in these certain areas you meet people on the streets you go into a town and usually they're kind of bustling and there's like five people wandering around uh, it's a slight exaggeration to say five but certainly less than a single player and it, as a result the game feels a little bit empty um, I gotta say um, compared to the single player now as I said it's beta Obviously, everything I say can be taken with a pinch of salt. Um, but also, that's okay, because I guess you have other people roaming around and, and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of as you would expect it. Now, when you start the um, online experience, you're generally ushered towards some story missions uh, that you do. Um, let's go do a bit of actual hunting here. That's a two-star white-tailed deer. Let's track him. Um, is there some wolves here as well? Um, 
yeah, you kind of push towards the story missions, and they're pretty cool. You know, you can you can go through them. They're kind of fun to do. You've got little interesting stuff there. Kind of, I'd say, it's pretty similar to the single player stuff, but obviously you're working with other people, and obviously, ideally, you're going to be working with friends or, or people you know, but um, not always. Um, can't see anything around here. Probably not. I think I might have lost it. Uh, oh, no, that's it. Ah. He's gone. I uh, actually probably should use this for it, to be fair. Um, yeah, so you, the story missions, they're kind of fun, but there's not very many of them. The, this is only the beta. They're going to put more in, I would imagine. And that's cool because I enjoyed those quite a lot, especially doing them with friends. Um, it does feel a little bit different to be doing it with other people because maybe they're not so focused on the story as you are or whatever. There's some interesting bits towards the end of the stories. I don't really want to spoil anything if you haven't done it, but there's you get to choose how the ending kind of goes and you get to vote on it with uh, kind of four people involved. So that's kind of interesting. How that really plays out in the real world, I couldn't honestly tell you right now. Um, I'm kind of full on, but that's only because I've been doing so much hunting that I... Um, kind of like for some reason hunting gives you good honour quite a lot of the time so uh, just kind of works out that way um, I am level uh, 13 and a half for those who, who probably want to know um, but yeah the story, the story missions kind of good but to be honest with you there's probably about two hours worth of content from the story missions and that's if you probably take your time and watch the cutscenes once you get out of that um, in terms of missions to do, there's these um, strange missions which, which you have, um, which can be done kind of on your own. They might involve things like um, uh, posting letters, you know, getting a carriage back or something. One of the cool things about it, though, is the fact that it does have Bonnie in it, Bonnie McFarlane, who's probably one of my favourite characters in video games. So that was awesome to kind of do that, a little bit of kind of nostalgia. Obviously, you don't get to go on a mission with her. I guess, um, um, but you know, it's okay. I know I'm not using the right weapon for this. It says use a rifle. I have a farmit rifle, let's try it. It just doesn't kill them for some reason. There you go, I'm not going to get a clean kill now. Um, but um, yeah, the Stranger Missions, they're kind of short, and there's not very many of them either, to be fair. You also have these gang hideouts, which are just groups of people to go and kill. And after that, that's kind of it. <laughs> that's that's kind of it. There's races as well, sorry, and there's like these showdown missions, you know, like kind of like, you know, deathmatch style stuff, I guess you would call it, really. I thought that was a bear coming towards me. I just crapped myself for a minute there. Yeah, it's a poor pelt, I know. Um, so what I've kind of been doing is just hunting really and just enjoying that um, I'd say the annoying thing is that you can't go fishing till you're level 14 which is uh, uh, a bizarre decision you can't buy a fishing rod until you're level 14 I don't get that because I think that's something a lot of people would want to do um, and yeah the leveling system is it's interesting shall we say um a lot of stuff is locked at very high levels. I know that's perhaps how it was in GTA 5, but... Oh, that's a turkey and a half. Look at that bad boy. I love turkeys. Yes. Um, no, that's how it was in like GTA 5, but I feel like it's much easier to level up there. Like, I, I don't feel like there's enough stuff to level up in this. But again, it's a beta. I know. Um... People have talked about the economy and how that works, and I don't have as big a problem with it, I think, as some. Some people are like, this is ridiculous how much stuff costs, you know, it shouldn't be like this, blah, blah, blah. Well, did you ever play GTA V? Because if you wanted a good car and that, it was going to cost you a lot of money. Obviously, the whole economy is set up to, I don't want to say make people buy microtransactions, but essentially what it does is it, it turns around and goes, listen, this game ain't free. That's probably the thing to remember about G um, Red Dead and GTA 5 Online. This game isn't free. People think, oh, it's a free add-on. It, it isn't really. 
if you think about it, you may have to spend about £40 to get the stuff you want through online transactions. And people might turn around and go, well, that's disgraceful. They shouldn't be making me do that. But also, they are giving you the game for free. So, I don't know. You can think of that what you will, I guess. Um, you know, because I think we could all agree that the $60, 50 quid, whatever you spent on Red Dead uh, Redemption 2 is um, well worth it just for the single player game alone. I think that that we can all agree on that, right? Um, it you know the the there was enough content in that game, and it was such a high quality game that I can't imagine why people would think that this should be included in the price. Gotcha. Um. Maybe some people do, I don't know. I think that's an unreasonable expectation. <laughs> so when you look at it, I think you go, well, you know, we've got this game, and from Rockstar's point of view, I guess they're thinking, well, if we make it too easy for people to get money, no one's going to buy the microtransactions, and then we don't make any money. And um, I'm not saying that's the right way to do about it, but that's their business model at the end of the day. It was the same business model in GTA Online. It's the same business model in Red Dead uh, Redemption 2. Um I'm not going to lie, I, I did buy a couple of the shark cards in um, GTA Online, mostly because I was very behind compared to a lot of my friends who played a lot more of it than me. And so I wanted a little bit of a boost in cash so I could get a nice car or something, a nice outfit and a couple of guns, you know, something like that, without having to grind my way through the game. And I'll probably do the same in this, to be fair. Um, the one problem I do have is that I think a lot of people complained in GTA Online that... Gotcha. Let's go get my birds. A lot of people complained that um, even if you did buy stuff, it's still like even if you sorry did put in the hours in that game, it still wasn't enough. Like you had to buy things, and that I kind of dislike as well. We get to see really what the economy is in in Red Dead Redemption Online. We we really don't know because you can't buy any microtransactions right now. Oh, we better get this one first because it's really going down the river. Uh, the mallard yeah we yet to see exactly what it is we don't know um we don't know how much a transaction is going to cost we don't know how many gold bars we're going to get for our money because that's what it uses and um we don't really know if the economy is going to stay the same from the beta to, to the normal rockstar have pretty much said nothing they've just said you know give us as much feedback as you want and we'll take it on board for when we release it so i would say at the minute it's the, my biggest problem is not necessarily the price of things my biggest problem is a little bit more that there isn't enough ways to earn money. So, like, I quite like go around hunting, but if I kill one of those ducks, I'm going to get, like, $2 for that duck. Um, if I wanted to buy, I, I do want to buy a Springfield rifle. It's, like, 200 and something dollars. Um, so I've kind of got to kill 100 ducks for that. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so there's some deer down there. You know, you do you can earn more for different animals, you know, deers and stuff like that. You can earn a little bit more for uh There he is. Oh, American prong oh no. What's it say? Use a rifle for a clean kill. Okay. You can't see me, buddy. You can't see me. Lovely king kill there. <laughs> there we go. I think my rifle is not the best rifle to use to kill these things. I mean, the repeater, though, isn't a rifle, so... Come on, horse. We're going to cross a river. Um, Reggie, my horse. Hopefully we can get across... Okay, yeah, we can. I thought it was pretty shallow around here. I assume because I didn't kill it with one shot, it's going to kind of screw us over on the, the yeah, one-star pelt, yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do, eh? But, um, 
yes yeah, so as i was saying it there isn't enough things to do to earn money you know it's not enough to kind of keep me coming back i enjoy doing this hunting and stuff like that but i'm not going to grind hunting for 100 hours to buy one rifle am i like that's mental i've got other things to do in my life uh so i kind of feel like it needs to have different ways to earn money at the minute there isn't that many outlawry things you can do like you can't go and hold up a shop you can't rob a bank you can't hold up people in stagecoaches you know you can't um do, you know burglary on houses and things like that a lot of the stuff you do in the single player game none of that is available to do whether or not it will be or not i have no idea um i'm gonna shoot this one up the back side now nah, we screwed it i'm better off just shooting literally varmints with this rifle aren't i because it just doesn't really work otherwise uh I kind of prefer shooting the smaller stuff anyway. I'll just eat, eat something quick. Uh, what have I got for my horse? I have a mushroom. He says, yum. Thank you. Thank you for the mushroom. I have another one. Horse is now fat. Um, got some plants to pick here, but I'm more interested in maybe some varmint. What's that over there? Oh, it's horses. Okay, no, I don't want horses. And that's another thing. I can't even sell a horse. Like, I can tame a horse. I can ride a tamed horse. I can't sell it anyway. Again, it's beta. I don't know if they're going to add any of this stuff, but it's kind of disappointing. It's not in there, at least. Because um, basically you, you have a f different ways to make money, I guess, in the game. You can do the missions over and over again. You can do the races and stuff like that over and over again. You can go out hunting. You can fish once you hit level 14. There isn't really any other way to make money, is there? Uh, even the gang hideouts, like, you don't really get any money for killing enemies. You just get uh, like ammunition and stuff like that. So feels i don't know so I don't, I don't necessarily think things are too expensive like things are way more expensive in this than they are in the single player uh single player experience but that's to be expected i think it has to have a different economy uh and you know people moan about doing a mission and getting paid five dollars for that mission um i kind of understand that it's a bit weird but they have to keep their economy competitive you know they have they can't turn around and pay you a hundred dollars for every mission because you do 10 missions then you'll be able to get the best gun and then you'll have nothing literally to do in the game so yeah so the game itself has got a lot of problems right now i think which i'm pretty sure they're going to solve like oh this was where arthur got kidnapped wasn't it uh, um oh quails see i'm such a, an adept hunter i actually know what these things are now okay Oh yeah, give me them quails. Although he just puts it in his bag, the never-ending bag. That's a good quail. It's a good quail. Um. Yeah. So I don't know. It's. I feel like I thoroughly enjoy playing the game. In this 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 version, but like I don't feel like if they don't add anything to it when it actually comes out of um beta then i would be seriously disappointed and i don't know if i'd really play that much more of it because there's not much more else to do in it um i think i remember gta 5 online or just gta online i guess being similar to that though ah we've got some farmits over here what are they coyotes okay it's uh Get the coyotes. Yeah, I seem to remember um, GTA Online being a little bit similar to that, though. There just not being a lot of content at launch, and then they kind of added things in, and I don't seem to remember that holding my attention too much until I got um, this gun is so bad. I really should just use my repeater on large animals. I'm going to get poor pelts anyway. Yeah. 
I've got a poor pelt. That's why I want to get the Springfield rifle so I can kill things like this in one and then I don't have to worry about the poor pelts. But it's 200 something dollars and I don't have close to that. How much have I got? Actually, I think I've got about a hundred dollars. So maybe, no, no, I don't because I bought this coat and it was seventy four dollars. <laughs> so it's funny though because in a single player you're like almost conditioned to just spend money in a way. Like, you know, you do a mission, you make a thousand dollars. And online it's like you do a mission, you make five dollars. <laughs> you're just scrimping and saving. You don't want to buy anything because you're like, oh yeah, but then I won't better get this later on, you know. And like a bow will cost you like a hundred dollars. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a weird it's a, it's a weird experience, you know. And I guess you, in a way, have to take them as two different things. Um, all right, if I get any more of these coyotes, I'm just gonna shoot them with my. The question was, where did they run to? Because ah, okay, maybe down here. That's a jackrabbit. Gotcha. See, that I should be using my varmint rifle for. Even though I only got one star pelt, but whatever. Oh, there's a campfire down there. I could maybe go cook something. Um, so yeah, the economy's weird. Now let's get on to, I guess, other players in the game. Um, whenever you play an online game, thing I guess you always have to wonder about is how oh it's somebody else's camp okay fair enough we're not going to be doing anything there you just could be wonder how other people are going to be in the game are they going to be idiots are they going to be nice that's the way it goes from playing Fallout 76 there are a lot of safety measures shall we say in place to stop people from griefing other people just randomly killing you along the way etc etc but there's still a certain pvp element in um red dead there I mean there isn't any protection, so someone will just literally come along and shoot you in the head. That's just the thing they do. Where are we now? Ah, Blackwater, okay. Wow, we've actually come all the way around there. That's interesting. Um, we've got any varmints around here, have we? We've got some fish. I don't think we can shoot a fish, though. Um, yeah, other people in the game will... I don't think I can get across there. I don't think I should risk that. We'll just randomly shoot in the head as they go along. Other people will. That's generally my experience. A lot of people are actually fine. They'll just leave you alone or whatever or give you a wave if you're in a town or something like that. But um, a lot of people will just... You'll just kind of be standing around next thing you know, you just hear this gunshot and you're dead. American muskrat. Come here, muskrat. Um, yeah, and the thing is with it, there's no real point to it. Like, you do get a small amount of XP, I guess, for shooting a player, but you get nothing else. You get no monetary reward. You get nothing. <laughs> so I don't... Oh, perfect, Mustat. Muscat. Uh, I don't really understand why people do it. I mean, it's not even really an outlawry thing to do, you know. You don't see Dutch and his gang going around and just randomly shoot someone in the head for no reason. <laughs> It's, it's a psychotic thing to do, if you think. But I know, you know, people can't resist, can they? I guess that's just the thing. Um, I don't think I've killed a single other player in this game. At all, I don't think. I think maybe I have when someone attacked me or something like that, and maybe I had to defend myself, like, once. But otherwise, I, I don't really think I have at all. Okay, can we see anything? Yes, we can. a badger I'm sorry badger but your pelt is, is is just too precious to me right now um, so yeah I don't really get it to be completely honest why people do that but they do yeah whatever but there, there should be I don't know it just doesn't feel that's what I mean the game just doesn't feel right from Th things like happening like that and you're just like I don't get why they come on get your damn gun out oh, Jesus Christ I'd rather have this than those does 
to be completely honest. That's a raccoon. <laughs> Poor raccoon. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's so brutal that hunting it really is. I apologise if you don't like skinning animals. I mean, I don't think anybody really likes skinning animals, right? Do they? I mean, maybe some people do. Uh, I guess just some people accept it's a kind of natural thing to do. And some people don't accept it's a natural thing to do, I guess I'd say. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad for King Coyotes. Hey, I got it, guys. <laughs> it's going to be such a bad coyote pelt. Where is it? Oh, it's there. Um, so, yeah, so, I don't know. The game's just weird. As I said, I can have fun like going around just hunting animals, killing them, finding different things, going to different areas, finding different animals. But the reality is, like, that's not going to keep me going, coming back into the game. And even the stuff you buy... Like you can buy new outfits, but a lot of it locked, is locked behind levels. And like just to level up in this game, it, once you've done the kind of missions a few times and done the races a few times, and it just feels like a chore. And that's the kind of worst thing. It just feels like a grind. And people talk about, oh, bloody hell, it's a raccoon. I want that. There he is. I think I ran him over. <laughs> Poor bastard. Oh, I'm sorry, raccoon. Is it a raccoon or is it a coyote? I think it might be. That's oh, a fox, okay. These guys are like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Don't worry about me, folks. I'm keeping my. I'm skinning a fox. Don't mind me, guys. You're good. Um. Yeah, and then you, you, once it comes out, it comes to chore. And I hate the word grind because grind. In, when people go, oh, it's it's a you have to grind through levels, or whatever. Like if you enjoy the game, it's not a grind, is it? it, it grind is a bad thing. If you're having to redo things over and over again just to level up to unlock different content, that is when it's a grind. I'm sorry, but that is. Uh, screw the coyotes. I'm going for smaller stuff. I can kill with my varmint rifle, and get good good pelts from. So I can save up and get myself a Springfield rifle to get even better pelts. And then I'll repeat the process and come out here hunting for another 10 hours. As I said, it's not, the, it's not something I actually don't enjoy. It's just... I'm just kind of like, what is really the end game here? You know, uh, To get a nicer outfit, I guess, than anybody else. Well, you know... And I'm not saying that I want like never-ending story content or anything like that, but I wouldn't mind the, the game, the, the world to feel a little bit more living, a little bit more stuff going on. You know, being able to rob a bank or something, or a shop or something like that, and maybe you get a wanted in the town, but maybe you can get away with it, and maybe some a bit more things you can do with other, with involves you know posseing up with people and stuff like that. That that's what I want from the game. I'm hoping they're going to bring it all in. Yeah. Also, don't put fishing behind level 14 that's just obnoxious in my opinion you might not think so because you've unlocked it but it feels I don't know it feels like that's something people should be able to do from the beginning it's good it is quite a good way to earn money fishing about as good as hunting I'd say for the time spent but that's the other thing as well so I hate it when in video games people start producing charts on how best to what's the most efficient way to earn money because you're like this isn't the way the game wants to be played no one wants to be like feel like they're wasting their time if they're doing activities that they enjoy but you kind of do sometimes feel that i sometimes feel like, am i wasting my time just going around doing this should i just grind through races and try and earn money that way or do something like that and it's like no because what's the point of playing a bloody video game i don't enjoy it doesn't make any sense right i don't know I mean, these are just my ramblings about this game so far. As I said, there's a lot of things I do enjoy in it. Um, I do enjoy the fact that it is 
it's going to be less smelly skunk. I enjoy the fact that there is quite a variety of wildlife in the game, even if they I don't know if they've been dialed down a bit. It definitely feels like NPCs have been dialed down a little bit. You know, even to do something like being able to go to a bar and buy your someone in your posse a drink or something like that, you know, have a drinking competition in a bar or something like that would be really cool thing to do, but it doesn't seem to be that kind of stuff at the minute and I hope that they look at this and not this video but I hope they look at this game and, and people's suggestion because I know I'm not the only person who's kind of suggested stuff like this or has issues with the game one thing I will say though is there seems to be a lot of memes around based around cans of beans because a can of beans is like $1.25 um, and um, people like are like that's outrageous because you get paid like $3 for a mission <laughs> you can afford like two cans of beans or something like that but why on earth are people buying beans? You just go out and shoot something and then you can cook it. And it doesn't cost you anything. So I, I didn't quite understand that. I think it's more of a, how do, I, how do we say, like metaphor for the... What the fuck is that thing? Is that a fox? Okay, I want the smaller thing. Gotcha. Did I just kill that fox by trap? I literally killed it by trampling. That's genius. Well done. Well done, Reggie. Why is there a big red mark of it? Oh, the gang hider, I guess. And yeah, the game, I think, is pretty good fun with other people as well. Um, there's so much potential, though. That's the other thing, you know, like, in these games, there's so much potential. And you know Rockstar, a uh, company who often like to fulfill that potential, you know, or have the ability to, they have the talent. Ah, oh, three-star badger. Yes. Okay, what we'll do is we'll look to go back to a thing. I'll keep that there, because I don't want to do it yet, because I've got all these pelts and I might die. <laughs> but is there a butcher in Thieves' Land? This is what pisses me off as well. Uh, Blackwater, sorry. You heard of Blackwater? Where's the gun shop? Uh, how... What if I wanted if I wanted to go to a gun shop, I'd have to go to what? Not even Armadillo. I'd have to go to Tumbleweed. Yeah, Tumbleweed. Or um I don't think Strawberry's got one. No, Strawberry doesn't have one. So I'd have to go to Tumbleweed or Valentine. How does Blackwater not have a gun shop? I don't even know. Shall we do the hideout? Why not? I've got enough I've got enough weapons. Um Okay. Can we get down yeah we can get down here. Okay. Right, let's take something first of all, just to make sure I don't die. Uh fully restores health and fortifies moderately. Nice thing is like I kinda of made all this stuff. Which I, I do like. Okay. We need to go down and get behind a rock somewhere. I've managed to create a small rock slide. Okay. Ready for it, guys? Here we go. Okay. Oh. Well, Why'd you just do that for, sir? Oh god. Okay, let's get behind this tree. Oh god. Um, okay. Can't see anything now. This is where the leader is actually, so I don't want to get him yet. Call me a dumb, dumb son of son of a whore. Okay, let's go this way. Get this guy. I can't even see this guy. There we go. That's him dead. Okay, where are these guys? Huh? 
further up. Oh boy, that was lucky. Okay. Sir, that's rude. Oh. Did they just shoot my hat off? So I'm thoroughly annoyed at them for that. Okay. You gonna pop out here, sir? Or do I have to come in through the window? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Shot the door back on him. Didn't have to die, you could have run. Where is he? Where is he around the corner here? Gotcha. Okay, we've got to shoot. Oh, I'll shot his hat off. <laughs> I've never shot someone's hat off before. Okay, so now the leader's surrendered. So let's see if he wants to give us a treasure chest, a treasure map. Okay. Oh, yeah, you do. Let's spare him. There we go. He didn't give us anything. Oh, got a health cure though. It was open to them. There doesn't seem to be much else around here. But yeah, I just don't really see the point in going around looting people that much because they don't even give you anything. <laughs> Look, let's go loot some people and see what we get off them. Revolver cartridges. Oh, damn, I could have shot that duck. Still can, still can. Gotcha. Ah. Oh, shit, I fell in the water. <laughs> so I bad, I was trying to shoot that guy. Yeah, anyway, as you can see, you don't really get a lot from shooting people. I'd rather shoot a duck than shoot a person. You should get better rewards for it. It's a pelican, okay? I knew that. I knew that. Get your feathers. So, yeah. Exotic bird meat. I can actually cook by this fire as well, which is quite cool. So, yeah, there's not. I've killed more animals than enemies looted. That's kind of crazy. By twice the amount. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy um, so yeah as I said I think at the minute like it, the thing with this game is like I can't not recommend it like I've had a, some good fun with it and stuff like that but I would say at the minute like maybe it's worth knocking around for a little bit and then seeing um, once you get into the uh, once the main game comes out like I'm not seeing what it is you know people kind of bemoan the fact if I show you in the uh can we get the catalogue out? Yeah. It might be a bit dangerous here. We're probably going to get shot in the head. But, for example, weapons. So, I have $51 and one gold bar. You earn little bits as you do missions. If I wanted to buy some rifles, then the Litchfield's $580. The Varmint was $72 when I bought that. The Springfield, $240. And it's locked at rank 38. <laughs> so, you can see here, the rolling block rifle, $685 or 28 gold. I have 1.4 gold and I've completed the story missions and done a lot of the other missions. So I can understand why people have a problem with the economy right now. It does seem a little bit broken. Um, things like, where's the, uh, yeah, like canned kidney beans 150, canned pineapples 150, canned salmon $2, wow. It's a lot of money. Uh, these things but again i don't know why you're buying them because you just go out and shoot a deer and you get venison so i'm not really sure why that's a thing but there you go right we were going to go to blackwater and let's sell all these pelts i've got so far and we'll see how much money we've got from unless there's anything out here i can just shoot quickly uh, there's something that just made a weird noise 
Oh, it's a piggy. Oh, what do I need for a boar? Use a rifle for a clean kill. I don't think this is going to do it, though, is it? I ran out of fucking bullets, didn't I? Yeah, there are... Hey, piggies, come back here. I'm going to say hello to my little friend. How does that not kill it? Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'm sorry to shoot you piggies, but I need the uh, skins and I need the uh, meat. Oh, left his head. I have no idea where my horse is. I will say as well that, um, so I was playing over a few days ago as well, and it was really bad then. It was getting crashes like at least, I'd say every half hour. Um, there's my horsey. There you are, Richie. Um, but I played today for a few hours and I didn't get one crash, so... I think they've kind of got it a bit more stable than what it was. It was really annoying when you went hunting because when it crashed, you lost all the pelts on your horse. Oh, it was so annoying. This looks like it could be a good place to uh, fish as well. If I had a fucking fishing rod. Apparently you can fish with a bow. But uh, I tried it and, uh, well... I didn't get to shoot anything. How many pelts can this horse take? Looks like there's a lightning storm coming. <laughs> why do you feel that? Why did he need to? And it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to ask why on earth he needed to flip it over. And also, how did he flip over? It's like the strongest guy on earth. That's right. Roll it in the mud. It is only pause, to be fair, so. Okay. We need to go back, back to Blackwater. If I see anything along the way, I'll shoot it. But otherwise, I think we'll probably head back now. I haven't got my varmint rifle run out of bullets again I've refilled that like twice it holds a hundred bullets like you can hold a hundred bullets that is and I just go through so quickly when I'm hunting it's crazy absolutely crazy so yeah I'm very intrigued to know what you guys think of the beta how much you've played as I said it's very enjoyable to just kind of you know potter around in doing little bits and a few bits of extra cash that's an awesome lightning bolt um very enjoyable, but um, it won't keep me coming all the way back, uh, constantly coming back, you know, the way it could do if it had a lot of other stuff going for it. Um, and yeah, let me know if you want to see a few more videos like this, I guess, where we just kind of go around and shoot stuff, because I enjoy doing that. I will do one when I get my, my fishing rod at level 14. Well, how far are we? Ah, oh, we're really close to level 14. Hey, what the hell? into Blackwater. Towns are generally quite a dangerous place to go. Um, people often congregate around in town and decide to shoot you for no real reason other than to waste their bullets, I guess. Okay, butchers around here. Because, yeah, the annoying thing is, like, I want the Springfield rifle to be able to go hunt and, and kill those things in one shot and get bare pelts. I have to be level 38. <laughs> I can't even get to level 14. I don't want to grind. You know? It's annoying. Okay, so we're at $51. Let's see how much we can get for all this. And, yeah, I'm going to sell everything because I've already got, like, loads of food and stuff like that. Let's just press X. I see as you sell it more, it goes down in price. That's interesting, I didn't realise that was actually a thing. So, 
So as you, yeah, it goes down in price. Interesting. 460 for them. Maybe we only sell like a couple of these. Ah, sorry, they were 460, 420, sorry. Okay, well, let me sell them all. <laughs> Done. Here we go. 95 cents for that skunk. I think I just bugged it out by selling too much. He's just like, I don't want any more of your shit. $89. We went from 51 to 89. Call it 50 to 90, so it's about $40. $38, $40 for that, which is about 40 minutes work. Eh. I mean, as I said, I could, I could easily save up for that Springfield rifle and get that, but I can't get it because it's level 38. <laughs> so I'm just kind of stuck trying to shoot things in my varmint rifle and it not working. And also, I need to go to a gun shop to buy more varmint rifle ammo, and guess what? There's no fucking gunshot for miles around. <laughs> Brilliant. Ah, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, I think we'll finish up there for now, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, been my pleasure. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.